Oh, baby. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and this is Anthony. And oh. thank you so much for stopping by. Guys, this is an exciting day. Very exciting day. You know why? This is the video of the century <laughs> because we're finally dipping our toes into Middle Eastern fragrances. Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern Arabian, Latafa, dupes, viral TikTok, you name it. It's here right now. You guys have been asking and asking, I don't know how many times you guys asked. It's too many times, man. <laughs> for us to do a video on Middle Eastern fragrances, tell you if they're good, if their hype is real. If they're if... worth the money. Exactly. So we have 14. 14, okay? Hope this video is not freaking two hours long. They all happen to be from the brand Latafa. Latafa. So this is pretty new to us and it's exciting, exciting. Before we get into the video, we have some important information for all of you Americans and Canadians out there. So, fragrancebuy.ca is having a massive Boxing Day sale. Starting today, December 25th. Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry Christmas. Until December 28th at 11.59 p.m. They're having a buy one, get one 30% off with code BOX30 on selected items. Now, all the selected items will be in the link down below, mm -hmm. so you can go and browse and see what's actually 30% off. And by the way, all of the fragrances we're talking about today in this video will be in the sale. Yes. But if you don't see anything you like, they also have 10% off site-wide, so anything on the website will be 10% off with code BOX10. You can also get free shipping with code BOXSHIP23 if your order is over $20.23. Exactly. <laughs> They're gonna have some amazing brands on sale, like Zergio, Vinicio, Parfum de Marly. So go and check out their website. And if you haven't heard of fragrancebuy.ca, they're actually one of our favorite places to shop for discounted fragrances. And yeah, all links will be down below in the description box. So make sure you check out the sale after you watch this video. <laughs> all right, baby, let's get into it. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We're gonna start with the very first fragrance. Ooh, Yara. Yara. Look at this beautiful freaking bottle. I will say, and it's heavy too. This has been hyped to the heavens. Oh my and god. Back yes. On Dem De yes, and Demi Rowling loves this Ooh, one. Okay, Demi. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh. Hmm. hmm. Powdery. Definitely. Feminine. For sure. Floral. Yes. But not, I don't get like white florals. It's just floral. <laughs> just floral. No, 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 no. You know what though? I was gonna say that this is surprisingly very soft. It's very soft, On the strip. Yeah. Like I can actually barely smell it. Should we respray? Maybe, yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me do a little respray. Okay, let's do a little respray. Hmm, this is interesting. Not what I expected it to be. No, I expected it to be more fruity pink in your face. I was expecting like roses. Okay. I don't know why. I mean, it's all right. <laughs> Wait, so you went from that initial reaction to like, it's all right? Listen, listen, it's nice, but it's I nice. feel I've smelt this DNA before in a okay. Sol de Janeiro bottle. Really? Yes. So it's a very mediocre, maybe? Whoa. I don't know how to explain, like a very common, like I've smelt this so many times. That's a very quick change of heart there. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is this is kind of like, a, at least to me, from what I'm smelling, a second skin kind Cannabis of vibe. Skin. It's yeah. very subtle, very light. It's it's pretty, kind of fluffy, but also soapy. I get a kind of cloudy creaminess, bit of a fruitiness, but not as much as I was anticipating. It's very clean. I get the muskiness. I get the kind of soapy yet fluffiness of it. I thought it was gonna be sweeter. Yeah, 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 me too. I, mean, I like it. You like it? I like it. Do you find it sexy? I find it cute. Cute, exactly, cute right? It's just cute. Pretty. Pretty mellow. Yeah, very mellow. Yeah, easy going, something nice to throw on and yeah. go about your day. This would be a, a a very easy, maybe springtime, mm -hmm. everyday scent. Yeah. Inoffensive, clean, but kind of playful yeah. with the fruitiness. Yes. Okay. What's your rating? I feel like I would give a higher rating if it was just a bit more intense. Because right. I like this DNA, but I need a little more oomph. Uh, all right. Without the oomph, it's a 6.5. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. It's not blowing my tits off. No. It's not something that I would <laughs> gravitate to wear. Okay. Yeah, all right. all right. Continuing on the Yara train, we have Yara Moi or Moi? moi? I think it's Moi. I think it's Moi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. okay. That, that's more up my alley. This is more intense, mm -hmm. first of all. Yes. Kind of gives me some green, green leaves of the geranium. Ooh, okay. Mixed in with green apple. Ah, okay. Some milkiness and floral. Okay, I see. Mm. 
Yeah, it's I got it. Tarty. It's definitely tart. I was gonna say there was a fruitiness in there, but I yeah. didn't know exactly what fruit it was. But I think green apple is a good right? guess. So to me, this is a very classic, but very nice fruity floral. Yeah, it's very uplifting. Like it makes me happy now that I smell it, you know? Okay, yeah. Very fresh floral, but yes, a little bit green and tart mm -hmm. at the same time. Something creamy there. It gives me caramel and milk. It's like really something, yes. Okay, I don't get that actually. You don't, huh? I don't get much of a milkiness. To me, this puts me in the vibe of uh, um, luxury shampoo. Mm. It doesn't smell like this, but I'm getting the same vibe as like a, a J'adore. Okay. Something kind of classy, floral, sweet. More upscale for like an older... Not more mature or older. More sophisticated. More sophisticated. Yeah. It's classy yeah. for sure. Yeah. For me, the yeah. previous year I was more young. Cute young. This is me. It's yeah, more this is... elevated. Mm -hmm. Assertive. Ah, I like that word. This would be perfect for a workspace. You know, you're wearing a blazer and one of the mini... Mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. a mini skirt, mm -hmm. but... Yo, blazer and skirt, you know what I'm saying. Not mini. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah. I mean, it's not anything crazy, but I really, I actually enjoy I it a too, lot. Me too, me too. I think I, it, this is something that I can wear. I yeah. will enjoy it. Perfect for spring. It's very versatile. I could, this could be a signature scent as well. Yeah. Also every day, but in a different way. This yeah. is elevated, more sophisticated, and I think a little more sexy for my taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your rating? I will give this a 7.5 out of Ooh. 10. 7.5 out of 10, come on, Agreed. it's nice. Yeah? Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> Next up we have Yara Tus. Oh, oh. This is uh, tasty. This is summer in a, yeah. in a bottle. But it's deep. And creamy. You know what it reminds me? Tell me. That dessert that you get when you go to a Thai restaurant with these like rice with like a... With mango. Mm -mm. Coconut milk and mango yes. and it's like sticky and thick <laughs> and... Slurpy. And slurpy? Okay. You know, yeah. this is what this is. I really like this. I love it. I think Yara Tus is my favorite Yara. Mm -hmm. So from what I'm getting, the Yara line is all on the fresher side yeah. and kind of everyday, easy to wear sense. Oh my God. Okay, <gasps> so I'm getting sweet mango, but when I first smelt it, I also got a pretty strong spiciness to it. Mm -hmm. And of course there is a milkiness as well and a bit of florals in there too. It's very tropical, but I like that it's Deep. It is deep, it's yes. It's still rich, even though it's kind of sunny. You know what? I don't want to put a label on this that no. is only a summer scent. No, I wouldn't label this as a I summer scent. I would freaking only. wear this right now and smell delicious like yeah. year round. Hell yeah. You know? I will say it's reminding me of, I don't know what it is. What? But I feel like I've smelled this before. Like a tropical milky feel that I feel like I've smelt. Okay. I can't pinpoint it. Oh, but this is, oh. this is delicious. It's like I'm eating mangoes right it's now. It's so juicy. Mm. That's an eight out of 10. Is it what? It's eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. Yeah. Only. I'm saving myself. It's definitely a step up from the last one. I don't know if I'm in the nines yet. I think this is an 8.5 out of 10. If you love mango fragrances, you're going to adore this one. Yeah. It's not exactly. a cheap mango. No, it's not a cheap no. mango. No. Wow. Beautiful. Mm, awesome. All right. Next one is Over. called Amir. Al Oud. And, oh, sorry, I was about to smell the atomizer. What am I doing, man? I believe this is a dupe of Maison Margiela by the fireplace. That's what I've heard, which we both, <laughs> which we both smelled. Not even close. Oh. This smells nothing like by the fireplace. Okay. In fact, it kind of reminds me mm. of Maison Francis Korkjan, Oud Sudden Mood. Really? Like it's a very chilled out, sudden mood with you, some saffron. Yes, definitely saffron, 100%. You, know? you get rose? Yes, a little bit. And oud, obviously. This is very nice. It's very nice. I This is like classic Middle Eastern perfumery yeah. to me though. I like it because it's not so intense. It's very wearable. Like I yeah. feel like I would wear it and not be... <laughs> No, you know? this, yeah, this is not some crazy oud fragrance. No, 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 this is awesome. Hear me out, hear me out. I'm hearing. I wouldn't say that it's completely off the ballpark from by the fireplace. Okay. I do get a bit of that sweetness and a bit of that kind of burning chestnut yeah, accord. Yeah, for sure. But if I were to describe this in the most simple terms I could, this is the baby of by the fireplace and Inicio oud for greatness. All right. Yeah, 100% for okay, me. Okay, okay. It's a clash of those two worlds All for right. sure. Yeah. And it works. Mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. Yes, not necessarily too much in 
into the fireplace. Okay, yeah, I agree. This, but I do get wood for greatness. But also for me, it has a touch of rose in there and okay. a big dose of saffron, which kind of makes it medicinal. Really? Okay. Yes. I can see when saffron becomes medicinal, but for me, it's not. No. No, as you said, it's very wearable. I just think your nose is broken. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would say if you really love the DNA of By the Fireplace mm -hmm. and you don't mind a little bit of a, more of a dry woodiness, kind of saffrony, maybe leathery. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say that and scare people off because it's yeah. not super yeah. leathery at all. Then I think you'd enjoy this down the middle unisex. I was about to say. I feel like a guy can pull this off. Yeah. A woman can pull this off. Mm -hmm. I think I would enjoy smelling this on a woman in the fall and winter mm -hmm. only. A perfect scent to share with your significant other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we could, we could both wear this. You want to share it with me? I'll share it with you. Right. I'm down. What's your rating? I've never been a huge, huge fan of By the Fireplace. So I'll give this a solid seven. I will have to agree with you on this one. Okay. A solid like for me as well. Yeah. It's a very likable DNA. I'm having trouble reading the name with this one. I don't want to say something that is wrong. <laughs> Fakar. Fakar. Fakhar. Fakhar. What? This is a dupe of what again? Lindertit. Linterdit. L'interdit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. I do, yeah, I mean, almonds. Almonds? I get almonds in here. Almonds? Yeah, it smells like an almond cake. Really? Yeah, like so almonds. So this is not a clone of... Maybe not. L'interdit. Yeah, maybe not, maybe you were off. I get the DNA for sure. I don't get almonds. I think your nose is tripping right now. I think you're tripping. <laughs> a ton of white florals. Tuberos. Yes. Lots yes. of tuberos. Lots of it. Honestly, I don't know if I like it. Initially, I got that DNA right away. But as I smell it, there are, it's kind of different, right? going in a different yeah. direction. I'm getting a strong, I don't know what note that is, but it's reminding me of laundry detergent. Straight up laundry, laundry. detergent. I feel that the tuberose is overpowering to the point that it kind of makes it seem very tangy. Like imagine... Tangy? Tangy. Imagine... <laughs> tangy? <laughs> Imagine like tuberose flowers mm -hmm. that went rotten, kind of like stale, like very okay, bitter. You know what I'm bit, saying? Yeah, I, okay, I get bitter. Almost like there's too much like stem action going on. Like it's very green and yeah, bitter. Yeah. It's very sharp. Oh man, it, it's getting more and more like that. I, it does. It smells like Tide. Really? <laughs> maybe not Tide, but so, I don't know. Maybe Is there lavender in here? It's getting worse. Yeah, man, I was really hoping that I would like this one. I mean, I think this is one of the very popular Latapas. One of the, yeah. Yeah, one of them. For me, I gotta say, this is one of the first ones that actually smells very cheap. Yeah. To me, it's a little bit, right? It's not given yeah, it's luxury. Not. All right, guys. So we just we had to check the notes. We had to check if there was almond. There's no almond. I did see, however, there's aldehydes, and I think that's what's giving me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I hate aldehydes. Really? I don't like aldehydes at all. That's the note. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of aldehydes. So I wanted to give that yeah. little side note. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. What do we have next? All right, I'm not going to I'm not going to go crazy, but let's be real. This is probably the most hyped Middle Eastern whatever latafa you can think of. And somehow we have not smelled it yet. It's insanity. I forgot to say the name, did I? Kamra. 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 I'm not going to hype myself up cuz I don't want to have high expectations. Exactly. exactly. Namaste. Yo. Oh. Okay. Let me start by saying mm. that this is the best thing we've smelled today so far. Wow. Wow. It is the best thing we've smelled today. Wait, you're being serious. I'm serious. Damn. Wow. Okay. Mm. That's very unique. That's very unique. Gourmand. This is delicious. Delicious, but not in a conventional way. Yeah, yeah. Hear me out. Tell me. You have delicious wow. fragrances that they are very edible and very sweet and very overpowering and too much. Mm -hmm. This is delicious, slightly like one spoon of sugar in your cup. <laughs> not many. Just one spoon. Very creamy. I think the word for it. What? Is smooth. It is very smooth. It is so, that's the first thing I, I caught is it's very smooth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. are you getting from it? Condensed milk. <laughs> really? Okay. I love and, me some condensed yeah, milk. And, and, and the color I see for this fragrance, uh -huh. it's like condensed milk. That's the wow. color. Like, it kind of smells like a like a chai latte. Oh, okay, okay, you okay. You know what I'm saying? I see, I see, I see. Oh, this is beautiful. 100% unisex. Absolutely. Wow, I'm having a tough time deciphering notes here. But one thing you didn't mention was a a booziness, a oh. booziness. It's not whiskey. Do I want to say like brandy or cognac maybe. or something like yeah. Maybe cognac, let's yeah. go with cognac. Very smooth, boozy, rich, cozy, sexy. Mm -hmm. This by far is definitely the sexiest. Yes, 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 this yes. This is nighttime seduction. Like This is what you wear when you want to be eaten. Would you find it sexy if I wore it? 
Yeah, I think on a nice fall winter night out, like date night. Mm -hmm. Date night. For sure. Yes. It's intense, but not in your face intense. It's like a grab you in kind oh, of. Oh yeah, yeah. It's very alluring. Yeah, like mysterious. a slow burn, a slow. Mm. Slow burn. Slow burn, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So what do you have to say about the angels share? Not even close. Yeah, agree. I feel like this is like a totally different character, different sure. DNA. It has its own personality. I wouldn't even even compare them. No, angels share doesn't no. come to mind at all. No, no, nothing. A lot of people say that it goes in its own direction, but they still compare it to angels share. No, they're no. tripping, bro. I think it's because they're seeing the bottle and they're comparing it. No, this is. No. A completely not... different game. Yeah, very love good. it. What's your, what's your rating? I'm gonna give this a nine because it smells incredible yeah. and it also smells like nothing I've smelled. Bravo. I wanted to give it a nine, but I don't wanna be copycat. No, give it a nine. Nine? Yeah. Give it a 10. I'll give it no. a 9.2. <laughs> 9.2. 9.2. Okay. is where things get interesting. Listen, we're moving on to the next one, which is a brother of the previous fragrance we've talked about. And this is called Camera Kahwa. Which I believe means coffee okay. in Arabic. New release. New release. Very interesting to see how this compares to the original. Oh, hold on a minute. Please, let me please, let me get please, camera please, out. Please, 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 please. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. 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 <laughs> you got it? Interesting. So so hear me out. Yes. Camera, 9.2 out of 10. Yes. And here you have Kahwa, mm -hmm. a 10 out of 10. No way. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yes, yes. Really? Yes, it's like the DNA of Kamra mm -hmm. with coffee. An exquisite coffee. It's like, let me let me picture the, the, the thing. You're in Emirates on Emirates. first class. Oh, okay, you're flying. Um, you're flying Emirates first class, okay? You're into your little suite and mm -hmm. they're coming and they're serving you before you fly your nice little Arabic coffee. Mm -hmm. And they give you on the side dates. dates. You nailed it. I'm a freaking genius. You nailed it. I'm a genius, no? I was gonna say earlier, I think <laughs> the camera DNA has dates. Oh, it does? Yes. Okay. I think it does. All right. You didn't know that, no, did you? No, no. Oh, stop! No. But this one, like, I smell it. I get more date yeah. in this one. Maybe the coffee brings that up? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know, but it gave me... This is a memory. When I flew Emirates first class. When, it, when she flew Emirates first <laughs> class. I'm having mixed feelings. Why? To me, when I first smelled this, you immediately get camera. No doubt, it's a yeah. flanker. Yeah. I didn't get coffee right away. Really? I got brown sugar. Like, I couldn't pick out coffee right away. Now, as I smell it, I do get a coffee, but it's not the kind of coffee I like. It doesn't smell like a like a freshly roasted coffee. That smell that wakes you up in the morning, you're like, oh my God, That's I not, love coffee. But it's not that type of coffee. Okay, yeah. This is yeah. an Arabic fragrance that you want to Espressos? Yes. <laughs> so you're team Kawa. I am uh, I'm team, I'm team. Guys, I'm team OG camera. <laughs> I don't, like both. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Yes, yes. It smells incredible. It's very similar to camera. I don't know if you need both. Do you think you would need both? <laughs> I think you need to choose one. I think you need to choose one, yeah. So I vote original. I think I vote Kawa. What's your rating? 10 out of 10. Okay, 10 out of 10. 10 I of give 10. it an 8.5. Kaed Al Fursan. Probably didn't say that correctly, <laughs> but it's okay. Here you go. I think this one is pretty high. It's hyped as well? I think so. Interesting. Oh, baby. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Yo. What am I smelling right now? <laughs> You're smelling sex. I mean, this is damn sexy for sure. Oh my God. Whoa. Violet. Violet? Is violet, that what it is? Either violet or lily of the valley, but in the best freaking way possible. It has like a plasticky effect. I, yeah, I see what you're saying. And that's not a bad thing. This is beautiful. As if you're walking into an uh -huh. enchanted forest. An enchanted forest. With like the most exotic flowers. Yeah, very exotic. Very exotic, and there is like so you're surrounded by fairies, by and fairies. Uh, by fairies, and you are like when they put a spell on you. <laughs> I put a spell on you. You are enchanted. enchanted. Damn. And you're like following that smell, and you're like. Eh. This is a head turner. It, it is. It That's is. a head turner. Yeah. I did not expect that. Oh. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Yeah. I agree with what you said about a very exotic floral. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. I get a very very creamy. Mm -hmm. Play doh y vanilla. Yes. It doesn't smell anything like this fragrance, but it reminds me of Ani by Nishani. That's the kind of mouthfeel I get. It's mm -hmm, like a mm -hmm. dense, fluffy 
Play-Doh-y vanilla. I also get a bit of a, maybe a citrus and a bit of like tart fruitiness. It kind of gives it this uplifting feel. Uh -huh. Man, I'm telling you, this is like- That's hype right there. It is an elixir. It's a love potion. <laughs> Gaer al fursan. Oh my God, speak to me, speak to me. <laughs> I'm gonna say this might not be for everyone because it's so different. It is different. People might get caught off guard mm -hmm. and it caught me off guard, but in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. I need to know your rating. Ooh, is it better than Kamra though? I know I gave an over the top reaction, but. It's different. I think you should rate it for what it is by itself. Okay, I'm gonna tie this with Kamra. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Damn. Yeah, it's another 10 out of 10 for me. Wow. This is Badi Al Oud Saplin. Wow. I'm having high expectations from this. Are you? Okay. Yes. Let's see what we got. Nope. Nope. Hold up a second. No. Strawberries. The most artificial strawberry I've ever smelled. <laughs> oh, hell no. Really? No. It's like strawberry mixed with geranium leaves. Can I tell you why it's a hard no why? for me? Why, like why, why, immediately? Why? When I was a kid, one of my favorite kind of candies that I would always ask my mom to buy me was fruit roll-ups. It was the red fruit roll-up. Everyone wanted the red one. This smells exactly like a red fruit roll up. I love the candy, but I don't want to smell a cheap strawberry candy on a person. Very artificial, very, very artificial. cheap. I mean, it's a pleasant scent. Sure. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I don't know what you can achieve with this scent, honestly. Like, what would you wear these for? Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> like, who wears this? Where do you wear this? I don't know. Do you get anything else? No, I just get, I told you, like, geranium leaves with strawberry. It kind of smells like a, like a cheap popsicle, like a yes. sorbet. Popsicle. Something with some heavy art. You said Kamra was one spoon of sugar. This is like 50 spoons of sugar <laughs> and not even real sugar. It's like corn syrup and oh glucose yeah. fructose. <laughs> no. Well, I guess it's a no then. That's a, that's a two out of 10. Oh, I'll give it a four out of 10 because it's, you know. Now the hype train. Hype train, back to the train. I'm introducing to you guys Nebras. So let's see what the I, hype is about. I have seen this bottle all over the internet. Yeah. I know this one is maybe almost as hyped as Kamra. Maybe. Let's see. Baby, baby, baby. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, okay, hear me out. Chocolate. Ylang ylang. Oh. Spices, maybe caramel. And it kind of has like this cooling effect to it as well. Yes. Mint? Yes. I don't know if it's an actual mint note, but I see what you're saying. <gasps> it's those uh, 8 a.m. chocolates no. with mint. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a chocolate that it has like a coolness to it. I get the, it's definitely like opening up my nose. Yes, and it definitely has ylang ylang in there. It makes it like very creamy and like... Almost tropical in a way. Uh, yes, like a... But a cho you get chocolate? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. You really like it, huh? Oh my, oh my God. I have heard that this is a clone of Billie Eilish. And if I remember correctly, I'm getting that same sweet chocolatey vibe. Really? Let's compare. All right, I know this is gonna be freshly sprayed, but let's see what we're working with here, guys. Oh. Hmm. It's similar. Like I do get that same chocolatey, minty vibe. Very similar. To me, Nebras is more of a dusty chocolate. All right. Billie Eilish is a little bit sweeter and I also get almost a boozy accord yes, I, from I Billie agree. that yeah. I don't get in yeah. Nebras. Honestly, I feel like if you wanted to get the Billie Eilish fragrance, this is a good dupe for it. Yeah. It's and very it's gonna good. it's going to be, I think, a lot cheaper yes, as well. Yes, way cheaper. I'm not going to say it's 100% at all. Yeah. I would say maybe more in the 80s. 80% round. Yeah, yeah. But if you like gourmand fragrances that are not gonna be overly sweet, this is a really is, good option. It it's a classy gourmand. Mm -hmm. I also feel like you can wear this a lot in the winter. Yeah, for sure. This like is it's, gonna be oh. super cozy. Yeah. What's your rating, mister? I'll give it a 7.5. I think I like Billie Eilish slightly better. This will be 8.5 out of 10 for wow. me. Wow. Yeah, I like initial reaction I got from this yeah. is like, wow. Yeah. You know? Okay. Like I need it. I need it. I need you it. got it. I need it and I have it and you need it and you get it. <laughs> <laughs> we have one more fragrance to go. And what is it? Last but not least, we have Ansam Gold. Let's see if we can end with a bang, guys. Oh, oh. It reminds me of something. What is it? Love Don't Be Shy. Yes. Or Oriana. Love Don't Be Shy. Or Oriana. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. I didn't know this was a dupe for one of those. Oh. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. That's spot on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my, oh my God. Do you know what this means? That you don't have to spend $5,000? Exactly. I don't need to. How much is this? Like 30 bucks? I don't even know, but it doesn't matter. It's so cheap. And you don't have either of those in your collection I, yet. Guys, I don't have any of them in my collection. And I wanted to. I love that DNA. Uh, Wow. This is it. This is my answer right here. This is really good. It's like spot on. Spot on, baby. I love it. All right, for those of you who don't know the DNA, yes. what are you getting? To me, this is like a marshmallow scent. Yeah, like a for very, sure. Mm, like sugar powdery, mush, 
marshmallow, fluffy, fluffy vanilla, mm. yep. white floral. Delicate oh, scent. Oh, yes. You're walking on freaking clouds. <laughs> yeah, you're walking on clouds. I also get a ton of orange blossom in here. Bravo, sure. orange blossom. I don't, is yeah. that a white floral? Yes, yes, That's yes, white yes, floral. yes. And I always got, I forget if there's a, like a berry accord in here, mm. but I do get some kind of berry, some fruitiness, and it's just a really attractive scent. It's, it is. Listen, this is a DNA guys die for. I am a big fan of this I DNA. Think what I like about this is it does not smell cheap, no, it first of all, no. and it is cheap. And you know what I, I love about it? Tell me. But if I wore this fragrance. Oh, nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're never gonna know. Nobody's gonna Nobody's know. gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> and you can fool even somebody who's heavily into fragrances. I'm curious about longevity, but in terms of scent, this is fantastic. It's, fantastic! It's a 10 out of 10. I will say in terms of dupeness, it's, <laughs> it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 dupeness. It's a very good dupe. Yeah. In terms of overall smell, 8.59. Wow, look at that wow. face. Look at you, not that giving, death stare. Not giving a 10 out of 10 at all. No, I'm trying to remember, because we've rated Oriana on the channel before. Yeah. No, it was high. I really, Beautiful. I really dig this one. Yeah. 9.5 out of 10. You need to start wearing this. Yes, I will. And I think this is going to replace your need for the more expensive yes, alternatives. Yes, absolutely. I think it's going to, how do you say, quench my thirst? It's going to quench your thirst. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Wow, look at us. I think we've got some favorites here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of favorites. Take a screenshot, guys. Some are mutual, some are separate, yes. but these are all great in our opinion. So we have Kamra, OG. We have Kamra, Kawa. Kawa. And some gold, as we just talked about. We have Nebras, Sayed Al Fursan. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then our favorite Yara. from the Yara line. Yara Tus. Yara Tus. Yara Tus. Beautiful mango creamy scent. Exactly. So there you have it, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. We finally got to smell all these damn latafas, man. You guys have been busting our necks for it. <laughs> and I think we found a lot of gems, man. Absolutely, man. Again, guys, make sure you take advantage of the sale that is happening right now at fragranceby.ca. All the fragrances in this video will be listed down below. Below and they will be buy one get one 30 percent off also be sure to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below if you've tried any of these fragrances and which one is your favorite merry christmas peace, peace.